Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the Dubai World Cup 2023 held at Maidan Race Course in Dubai. His Highness congratulated the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and to all Emirates rulers on the success of the Dubai World Cup. His Highness asserted that the Dubai World Cup has become the most important horse racing event at the global level thanks to the participation and the best jockeys and horses from all over the world as well as the distinguished media coverage. He added that the outstanding success of the UAE in hosting such a global event is a source of pride for all GCC and Arab countries, commending the key role played by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid in ensuring the success of the Dubai World Cup. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the first school sports forum organized by the Bahrain Universities and School Sports Federation at the Bahrain Bayan School. His Highness praised holding the forum for its positive role in developing the school sports process, strengthening ties among Bahraini schools affiliates, exchanging expertise and experiences, and contributing to the advancement of school sports. He affirmed that the future of Bahraini sports and its development begin with the interest in school sports through discovering talents and developing them, organizing tournaments and courses that to refine them, and conducting continuous tests to select the best elements according to correct scientific bases. His Highness added that this can also be achieved through reviewing the best experiences in this regard and activating joint programs with the Ministry of Education to enhance the output school sports. His Highness asserted that Bahrain's keenness to host the 2024 International School Sports Federation Gymnasium and to organize this forum reflects its continuous endeavors to enhance the outputs of school sports to achieve the desired development of the sports movement.
The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting where the council approved a draft law regarding linking payment systems between GCC countries. The council then approved the consolidated final account and the performance report on the implementation of the state's general budget for the fiscal year 2021, which indicated that the final account includes the annual financial statements for each ministry or government entity separately for the end of the past fiscal year. The Human Rights Council adopted Bahrain's final report for the fourth session of the Universal Periodic Review in Geneva. Bahrain's delegation was headed by Bahrain's permanent representative to the UN office and other international organizations in Geneva, Ambassador Dr. Youssef Bouchiri. The ambassador affirmed Bahrain's pride in the strategic partnership and the existing constructive cooperation with the UN, stressing the kingdom's keenness on consolidating the bonds of partnership and the exchange of experiences in various human rights and development fields. The permanent representative praised a positive interactive dialogue that took place during the review, which was attended by 92 delegations who praised Bahrain's achievements, especially the National Human Rights Plan 2022-2026. to The permanent representative affirmed the Kingdom's continuation of proposing initiatives and enacting legislation related to the protection and promotion of human rights. An official source at the Meteorological Directorate at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications said Bahrain would be affected by a state of instability. The source stated that dense clouds will begin to form gradually, making the weather conditions overcast with the possibility of rain. The source further said that the formation of thunderstorms accompanied by very fast gusts could be experienced and that the rain could continue until Monday. The winds, according to expectations, will be easterly in general, ranging from moderate to brisk tomorrow, then to turning northwest on Tuesday.